So after playing Outriders while the demo for over 100 hours, I have tried and tested every single farm in this demo. Today I bring you what is my opinion by far the best legendary farm in the game. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. So within every stream I have done, basically every night since the demo has been out, I do constantly get asked where or what is the best farm for Outriders in terms of earning those 10 legendary weapons available in the demo. Now like I said, I've poured over 100 hours into the demo so far. I have spent days at these farms and today I bring you what is in my opinion the best farm and why it is the best farm. So in reality we have 4 things or places we can farm. We have Gauze and his chest which can take a few minutes per run. We have side quests with payback being the fastest side quest you can do. This also taking over 2 minutes. We have the Vanguard Captain, you can farm fast and easily. And we also have the OG Captain, the Terror Infirma Captain. So let me state, the Captains it seems are the way forward. Gauze and his chest as well as the side missions, although they do drop legendaries, it seems as though you will be spending way more time doing these to get said legendaries. The problem we have here people is not knowing the drop rates. And with us having captains who we can kill literally every 30 to 40 seconds, why would we farm Gauze and his chest or side quests which literally take 4 or 5 times longer? And it takes so much long to get what seems to be an even less percentage of getting legendaries. Why in which we get from those captains and what they offer in terms of drop rates. But even if the drop rates between Gauze and his chest as well as side missions are that the same of captains, it still makes way more sense to farm captains as they're just way way more efficient. So if I were you, if you are chasing those legendaries, I'd avoid gores and those side quests. It is between the captains, we have the vanguard and we also have the OG one. And basically with these farms you just kill the captains and then let the other ads kill you, you respawn, rinse and repeat and you get that loot, it's as simple as that. Now I did the test the other day and you can more or less run these captains, both of these the OG and the Vanguard, more or less exactly within the same time. OG captain is literally a second quicker due to how many ads are here, they just kill you way faster, but without really knowing, they're more or less the same. But guys, I will tell you, one of these captains is miles better and way more efficient to farm over and over, and that captain is the OG captain, the Terra Inferma captain. This OG captain basically is 3 times better in terms of that drop rate for legendaries. And the reason for this being is the fact that this farm and with the OG captain there are at least 2 marksmen here who by my experience have just as good a chance to drop those legendaries as the actual captains. Also with the OG captain there are like 3 or 4 breachers, maybe more. These can also drop that loot. To be honest we know all enemies in the game can drop loot. It just seems there is an increased rate with captains and the marksmans. And while in reality you can kill the captain here and two marksmans at the same time and still die within the same time you can kill the vanguard captain and then die and repeat the farm. So without doubt people the OG captain is by far the best. And for me over the past few days I have had literally 6 drops in not that much of time. I had two legendaries drop within the space of a minute at the OG captain, I had another two drop last night in literally 10 minutes, I started my stream yesterday and got one here within 5 minutes, it is in my opinion a much better and more efficient farm. And those who don't know how to get to this Terra Inferno mission, this is what you need to do. Obviously after you have completed the demo and can't go any further and are at that world tier 5, back out to the main lobby menu. Then here you want to select that 5th story point. Load in and once you are in, follow where I go on screen now. You will eventually end up at the OG captain, but first you have to take out a single group of ads. But when you're done with these ads, you then come to the OG captain. And this is how you farm it, you literally run forward, kill the captain, take out the two marksmen as you'll see me doing on screen in a split second, stand there and let the other ads kill you. You can take out the breachers if you want, but to me it's way more efficient in just taking out the captains and the marksmen, as the breachers are way more tanky and take way more time in killing, and seem to be a lot stingier in my opinion. 
If you do this with an 18 where people say you do get increased drop chances, not even my experience but even so, if you do run it with an 18 you do get more marksmen. I believe they're 3 or 4 here. But they are much harder to kill as well as the captain too. For me, farming solo makes way more sense as it's quicker and more efficient. And within my testing, you're just as likely to get that legendary drop. But it is just my opinion guys. But for sure people, right now within the Outriders demo, the OG captain is by far the best farm. And I've made this video for all the people out there who still ain't sure. A lot of people are still farming side quests, a lot of people are thinking about doing gores, a lot of people go to the vanguard captain because it seems as though you can kill him quicker, which is indeed the case. The problem is there, is it takes way longer for the ads to kill you, plus there are no marksmen there, whereas the OG captain, it takes a little longer to get to him, you can kill him just as fast as the vanguard captain, but you can also take out the marksmen which are literally right next to him too, and you die way way faster. So both farms in my experience are about the same time to run, but with the OG Captain you have 3 times the chance of getting that beautiful legendary loot, even more if you can't reach us. But yes I hope this video helps you out if you're still unsure. I mean the OG Captain is the farm most people are using anyway but like I said I am still getting people within my stream confused about the best spot. But yes for sure the Terror Inferno OG Captain is the best farm in the demo right now in my opinion for those beautiful legendary weapons. And on that note the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, videos and streams make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video of mine or a stream turn notifications on by hitting that bell bottom but guys thanks as always for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one